Harry roars as Buckingham Palace removes him from LOS after act of settlement of 101 due to Meg lying about religion. Meg used fake religion. King kicks Harry out of LOS after active settlement of 101. Prince Harry was deeply saddened when Meghan pretended to follow a different religious path, eventually leading to the Duke's expulsion following the January 17th arrangements behind all the pomp of the royal wedding. An unfavorable truth is lurking. I remember they didn't get married in church, but chose a civil ceremony. There may have been a blessing in the church, although I can't with a religious ceremony. In the unfortunate incident, Kate and William and their three children were in danger. Harry will be the first amongst them. But if Meghan was truly Catholic, she would have been educated in a Catholic school. She should have never become a queen without publicly renouncing her Catholic faith. Harry would have had to renounce his and his children's succession rights under the January 17th agreement, which guaranteed a line against the British throne. No Roman Catholic or anyone married to such a person may be placed in the line of succession. Even Prince Michael of Kent, who was 15th in line to the throne at the time of his marriage, had to give up his position when he married Baroness Mary, Christina Agnes Hedwig von Renim. She openly used her husband's title and was referred to as Princess Michael by Kent Henry. The seventh was the schism from the Catholic Church, the founding of a new church, and the self-proclaimed head of that church, along with the continued Protestantism of the English monarchs. With the exception of his daughter Mary, the first thing is why the British royal family supports the Church of England. Meghan must be confirmed into the Church of England before they got married. They baptized their second child in the Anglican Church. But most likely because without baptism, the baby will not be able to be placed in the line of succession to the firstborn. At that time, they were still working for the royal family and had been baptized in the Church of England. Meghan's religious practice seems to be quite flexible. She started out Catholic, converted to Judaism to marry Trevor, and then converted to the Church of England to marry Harry. It seems like religion is as changeable for her as her choice of underwear. Harry grew up as a member of the Church of England, but his religious choices now seem to align with whatever his wife tells him. It was reported that the Queen did not attend Charles and Camilla's wedding because Camilla was divorced and the Queen could not publicly support this as head of the church. I didn't realize that the Queen missed her son's wedding because of her stance on divorce. It seems like Meghan has put the Queen in a difficult position, like forcing your grandmother to attend a divorce wedding. She couldn't bear it. That also sheds light on the famous photo of the Queen admiring the new wooden Meghan at her wedding. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are said to have become less sensitive as a couple. Darren Stanton said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who have thrived on PD in the past, have now resisted their emotions as they spoke publicly on behalf of the Betfair Casino. Body language expert Darren Stanton said that Harry and Meghan's relationship has evolved looking at their body language. Their public displays of affection have changed dramatically over the years as they started dating and became a couple officially. They're very affectionate in public, almost more affectionate than William and Kate. I feel that they toned it down a bit, though. Recently, I've seen their eye contact decrease, and they're only tactile with each other. He added that when they love each other and they will do anything to support each other, we tend not to see them openly passionate. 